This was a scene almost one year ago today when a West Des Moines real estate agent was murdered. Police have over 700 leads, but still have not been able to announce a suspect. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this late edition of ABC 5 News. I'm Rachel Pierce. 27 year old Ashley Oakland was shot twice when she was showing that town home. One year later, Ashley's murder is still having a significant impact, especially in Iowa's realty community. For more on the changes, we turn to ABC 5's Alex Schumann. Rachel, one year ago, Oakland's murder highlighted what kinds of dangers realtors face on an almost daily basis. That's why since her death, real estate companies say they now provide more ways for agents to learn how to be safe. When you see yard signs like these, it might not cross your mind that the people who have their name at the top have a dangerous job. The truth, however, is that real estate agents are constantly dealing with unfamiliar people at all hours of the day. I think a lot of people uh, were initially and still are in, in uh, a state of shock and surprise. Brendan Buckley is the vice president of marketing for Iowa Realty. He says Oakland's death affected the way many agents work with their clients. I think people are, are generally more aware of who they're doing business with, um, asking to meet them at the office, um, getting copies of, of their ID in some cases if, if that makes them feel more comfortable. Those ideas are just some that are listed on a website Iowa Realty created immediately following Oakland's murder. Hello, I'm Jeff Hartshorn with West Des Moines Police. It provides many tips and an informational video from the West Des Moines Police suggesting basic ideas like parking so the new client can't block the agent in and making sure to tell people where you'll be and when you'll be back. you want to go out and meet with them at the site, get them into the office, get their information, personal information, where they work, what they're looking for, those type of things. Introduce them to somebody else in the office. Buckley says over 4,000 realtors have viewed the site and even though real estate companies compete, they all try to share ideas to keep everyone safer. Everybody is really, I think, uh, pulled together as a real estate community because uh, Ashley was a realtor and, and a very big part of the real estate community at large and, and, and this has been a, a way that everybody has, um, has pulled together. Iowa Realty says they just had another training course a couple weeks ago where 50 local realtors chose to attend. If you have any information, contact the Polk County Crime Stoppers. That number is on the bottom of your screen. Reporting from the newsroom, Alex Schumann, 10 at 10 Late Edition. Thanks, Alex. A memorial service is set for Oakland on Monday. The service will take place at Hope Lutheran Church. Organizers say it will serve as a time to reflect on Ashley's life and as an opportunity to talk about safety for real estate agents. 